Antimicrobial resistance is a long way of talking about superbugs. That is to say, infectious diseases, whether it's bacteria, which I'm talking about mainly, but viruses, fungi, who, when exposed to treatments, become resistant to those treatments. So they're superbugs, they're difficult or untreatable. The face of AMR is very difficult to find because you don't get doctors and nurses saying, oh, your aunt died of AMR or a superbug. They say, your aunt died of pneumonia and it was difficult to treat. So somehow, to really galvanize people to move forward on this, we've got to find a face. Imagine living with cystic fibrosis where you repeatedly get infections most of them get resistant infections. Indeed, a young woman I was very close to died just before Christmas last year with a non-treatable infection in her lungs. She had cystic fibrosis. The latest data shows that if you're very strict about how antibiotics are used, both in humans and the food chain, you have much less AMR impacting um, within the health system and on patients and fewer deaths. So it's no surprise that the worst cases are actually in sub-Saharan Africa. Did you know that one in five children under five who die, die because of untreatable infections? They die because of AMR. Meanwhile, India has the highest use per capita of antibiotics and the highest levels of AMR. So this is tragic for low and middle income countries while causing deaths in rich countries as well. It's about human health security, of course, but it's actually about the security of our food chains. We need antibiotics to treat sick animals, sick fish, ill plants, but we don't need them overusing either in the human sector or the food chain. And there's also environmental security that matters. We animals, whether we're humans, pigs, fish, whatever animals, pee or poo out. Over 80% of antibiotics were contaminating the environment in that way. Indeed, over the last decade of 12 small companies that had interesting antibiotics, most have gone out of business. Only five are still there and struggling. So it's what's called by economists a market failure. We need industry and governments to focus on how to sort the market failure. We need the food chain to not use antibiotics for growth promotion and never to use uh, medically critical antibiotics unless an animal's very sick. We need humans to have access to the drugs they need of high quality. And put all of that together with good laboratory diagnostics, and we will be a long way to mitigating AMR and saving lives.